I'm going to read you a story about Sam's sad day. This is Sam. He's a sand lizard. Sam is not very big. He would fit into the palm of your hand. He has four legs and a tail and is brown on top and has bright green sides. Sam lives on the heathland. The heathland has many different plants growing on it. Sam's favourite one is the purple heather. One day last summer, Sam was sitting in his favourite place. His favourite place is a small sandy patch by the edge of the plants. Here the sun shines down and keeps the sand warm. Sam was sitting in the sun dreaming of a nice tasty snack when Bob the butterfly fluttered down and landed next to him. Hi Sam, he said. Have you heard Nancy Nightjar's eggs have hatched? One girl and one boy. Wow, said Sam. That is wonderful. But Bob had fluttered off. He never stayed anywhere long. Ah, with a sigh, Sam sat down to carry on with his dreaming. Sam, Sam. Someone was calling him. Sam looked around. Who was there? Sam, Sam, the voice called again. Sam looked around, but he couldn't see anyone. Suddenly, he saw something rustling through the heather towards him. What was it? Hello, Sam, said Andy the adder. Did I make you jump? Sam felt silly. I couldn't see you, he said. That's because I'm the same colour as the plants, Andy explained. Andy told Sam he had come to see him after escaping from some children who were scaring him. They kept trying to pick me up, said Andy. I was so very scared. Don't they know I could bite them? I feel much safer here. Sam told Andy he could stay as long as he wanted to. After a rest, Andy slithered away in search of some food. Sam went back to sleep. Suddenly, he was woken by a loud cry. Quick! Danger! Quick! Help! Quick! Quick! Help! Danger! Sam looked around. Sitting on top of a gorse bush was Danny the Dartford Warbler. Danny was hopping up and down and shouting as loudly as she could. Danny! called Sam. What is the matter? Fire! cried Danny. The heath is on fire! Get away! Get away! everyone away. Sam looked across the heath. In the distance he could see thick black smoke in the sky. Under the smoke were red scary flames. Help! Get everyone out! called Sam. Tell them to go to where Andy the Adder lives. Danny flew around the heath calling to everyone through the smoke. Sam ran around the ground telling everyone he could find. It was very hot and scary. The smoke was making it very hard to breathe and the flames were getting closer. Crackle, crackle, hiss, crackle. The noise was very scary and so loud. When Danny and Sam were sure they had got everyone off to safety, they too set off to Andy's place. Sam looked back. There were firefighters everywhere pouring water on the fire and beating the flames with special tools. Big red trucks kept arriving. Sam hoped no one would get hurt. The next day, Sam returned home. But there was no home to return to. The heather had all gone. His sandy spot was covered in smelly black ash. Nancy's nest had gone. There were no flowers for Bob to visit and no bushes for Danny to sing from. Sam was 
very sad. Everywhere he looked was black. Sam went back to the others feeling very, very sad indeed. Andy said everybody could stay with him. It was crowded, but at least it was a patch of heathland. Everyone hoped that there would be no more fires. <laughs>